Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you a little bit on how to make a cookie cutter and for this upcoming assignment, part of the assignment is to make a two-part cookie cutter which is going to have one part will be the cutter and the other part will be a press that goes in the middle of the cookie cutter. We're going to draw it on Fusion 360 and it's going to be 3D printed so we will be able to use that at the end of the project to actually make some cutouts of our cookies. Find on the internet a silhouette. So from here, we're gonna get our design, which could be an animal or, but basically what we wanna do is try and get a silhouette style. So I've selected this lady. Okay, so the next step is, is we're gonna import our image. So I'm gonna insert and create a canvas. And we're gonna insert from my computer. And we're going to pick the ladybug out, insert that. We're going to do it on the front view. So we'll just click, select that front view there and go OK. Doesn't really matter what size it is. So we'll zoom in on that. And what we said in the limitations was to limit the size of the cookie cutter to about 7.5 centimeters or 75 millimeters. That is biggest extremity so we can go down and we click on calibrate and I'll click on the bottom of that to the top of this up around about here that says about 15 millimeters so then I just type in that I want to make it 75 millimeters and it will expand it out okay so the next step is we'll draw a sketch onto the surface which is basically like a piece of tracing paper and we can then start to draw a shape onto it actually what i'll do i'm going to click on the line tool and i'm going to draw a construction line the construction line is a line that we can use to find the center of of an object and we can use that later on to draw some symmetry around it so I've just drawn our first sort of shape in there, which is this hidden detail line. Now I'll click that back off and I'll go to the spline tool and I'll find, go down here, roughly picking out a spot around here. And let's just start with our, we're going to trace all the way around this. And I've just clicked OK with that. And then I can add to it again. Go down and click on that and start this next shape. We'll just trace all around this area here. When it gets to a tight corner, I just restart it and I get up to this point up here, about here. I go OK and then I'm going to go back and draw a straight line back down the center from that one down to there and we should have a closed shape there which it is see how it's going blue so click on create a mirror I'm going to select all the parts around again and we select the mirror line which will be from there to the other side and go OK. So I now have the two halves that have been mirrored. So we can now offset that. So I'm going to click on the offset tool. And we don't want to do chain selection. We just want to select certain parts to offset. So we don't want to offset this middle bit. So I'm going to click one, two, three, four. We'll go all the way around. Okay, and we we're going to go on the outside of that. So we're going to make it go the other way. And this is where we can make it. Uh, so we're going to go minus 1.5 millimeters and go OK and finish that sketch. If I can grab the view clue view cube by clicking on it and rotating it 
I can then extrude out the shape that we want to start to use as for our cookie cutter. So let's say we're going to make it about 15 millimeters, 20 millimeters deep, and we go OK. OK, so just rotating around now, we can sort of see our shape here, which we've actually extruded out. So we actually have the first part of our cookie cutter almost done. But one and a half millimeters is pretty thin. So what we need to do, we need to make it thicker at the top end. So when we're pushing down, we don't break the, the shape. So what we can do, we can actually add a top part to this. So what I'll do to add this top part, I'm going to create a new sketch on the top area here. And I'm just going to click on uh, offset and I'm going to start to click on the shape on the outside. Okay, and let's move that out by about five millimeters. And just type in that five millimeters. We'll finish that sketch. And what we can then do, we can extrude this by clicking the extrude button. I'm going to click on one and two, and we'll just push down into it about four millimeters and we're going to make it a join and go okay so we have this ridge here now so next step is what we want to do is we can create a fillet by clicking on fillet and we're just going to go around this whole edge here Now, just move this fillet out now by dragging it out. Just type in three, three millimeters. You can type in three, three and go OK. So this gives us a nice little fillet now, which gives a, a lot of strength on the part. So I think that's pretty good. I'm going to turn that decal off now so we can sort of see what we're looking at by clicking on that little eye there. So next step is I'm just going to close that one and close that and I'm going to create a new sketch again on this top part and I can easily click on by just clicking there and I'm going to create a shape inside of that by offsetting again this time by only a fraction we'll do minus a half a millimeter and I'm going to extrude that out now by five millimeters in the opposite direction. And now I've got uh, two parts here, or a body actually. So we've got body one, which I can turn off. Body two, I can turn off. Okay, next step is we might put some embellishments on the inside of the lady beetle. So when we stamp it down, it'll actually make some shapes into the, the cookie dough. So I'm just navigating around here. Uh, what I might do, I might turn off the body one and I'll just create a sketch on this side here. And I'll again, draw a line down the middle so I can use some symmetry on this sketch and go, okay. And what we'll do, we'll start out by drawing a little, uh, some eyes. I have to turn the construction line off. And I'll just draw some shapes here of like what a ladybug bug kind of might look like. And I'm going to create a mirror. And I'm going to select all the patterns here. And I'm going to mirror the line. To the side, so now have a bit of a shape. Uh, I might just quickly draw a smiley face. Should have just done this in the mirror. I'll just, it just looks a bit uh, terrifying. So, what I can do, I'll actually just change some of those shapes and just drag them out a little bit. 
Okay, next step is we'll extrude those shapes out. So I'm going to get the extrude button. And I'm going to select all the shapes to extrude out. And let's extrude that out by 1.5 millimeters. We now have a shape here. If you want to go further than this, what you can do, you can also add a little fillet around on the outside of everything, just so that point 0.5 taper on that, or a fillet, or maybe a point 0.6, experiment it out, point 0.7. Or even a one millimeter, maybe one millimeter could be good. Two, two there. So let's just do another fillet on that one, and we'll make it one millimeter. Okay, so you now have our cookie cutter almost done. Next thing is we want to put a handle on the top back of this. So we can actually stamp it down. So let's create a, a uh, another sketch. And I'm going to select it on a plane like this. Draw a circle in the middle there somewhere of about 20, 20 millimeters. And I'll extrude that out. And we can actually add a fillet on the outside of this. Drag it down. Okay. And that's how we make the cookie cutter. Further embellishments to this, we could actually fill it the outside of the... On this side, we could go all the way around and make it look a little bit smoother on all the rounds. Picking that. And let's add a, a two millimeter round on that. Maybe a one millimeter. Maybe a little fillet in here. Okay. It looks pretty good. We can also modify and make the appearance look. Make it look good. And there you go. So we need to export this out now. So we need to export, get into export, and we're gonna, well, actually first we need to save this. And we call it cookie cutter. And once it's saved, you can then say export it as an STL file. Export the whole thing out together. Um, both will work. So we'll just go file, export. And we say, want to save it as an STL file. Click on export. And then this panel will come up when it's, when it's exported. Okay, so once you've got that, we can now 